Mission of Circles together. And if you're unhappy with the size of it, you know you can obviously, you know, select it. We can go to the Transform tool, and we can make it a little bit smaller. Up to you, totally. And maybe I'll make just a little bit more spurts here. So you can just keep drawing. All right, that's pretty cool. Now, here's a different thing, and this is the reason why I'm showing you different ways to animate. The sun, we're actually going to change the color of it, so we need to do a shape tween, and it's actually going to come towards us and a little bit bigger, so it makes it look like he's kind of running you know, towards the sun. These guys, we want all together on one layer. It's all going to act as one. So if I hit Command-A, if you notice, it selected all of them, and I'm going to go up to the top where it says Modify, and do this with me, Modify, after you selected it, and hit Convert to Symbol. Make sure it's a graphic and call it clouds or whatever you will remember it as. You'll know you did it by having a blue bounding box. That's now an object in Flash. Keep that there. We're going to do one more thing. We're going to create our person. So one more layer. Oh, lock it. And we're going to call this our person layer. And maybe we'll just go ahead and draw him. Now we're, we're not going to do anything fancy. We're just going to keep it simple. Because we're not concerned about the actual look of the person right now. We're just trying to get the actual idea of each one of the animations using that timeline. Okay, let's see. Let's choose a smaller brush size. And we'll come up here and we'll just, we'll just draw one stick figure. And it's just going to be a solid black head. And he's just going to be standing there saying, what's going on? I'm a stick figure. Mr. Man, right there. <laughs> Just make him pose. That's fine. Okay, now here's where we're going to start getting a little interesting. Okay, so now we got our whole atmosphere. It looks pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and unlock the sun. We want it for 24 seconds. So why don't we do this? Actually, let me not step ahead of myself. Let's unlock the ground. You'll see why. The ground needs to be as long, it be, needs to be there as long, and actually the sky color too. Now that I'm thinking about it, because that's new. The sky color and actually the ground all need to be there as long as the whole animation. Because if I start animating, you know, notice that everything's only on one layer. So as soon as you start animating, it's going to disappear. So if you've done this before and you go, wait, I've been animating, but my, my ground disappeared, my city or whatever you're creating disappeared. This is the reason why. You actually need to keep the frames going with the animation. So on sky color... I'm going to go to frame 24 on that particular slide. And I'm going to hit F6. Or you can even do F5. Up to you. F5 is just to create a frame. Because it's really not going to be animating. So actually that's the way to go. On the ground, same thing. F5. Uh, the non-shortcut for that is insert timeline frame. This is where we're going to be. We're going to actually use all three of these right now. Okay, let's lock those. Because we're not going to do anything else with those. The sun. Let's get back to the sun. So here we are with the sun. Now on the sun layer, we're going to go to frame 24. And we're going to say insert timeline keyframe. Now we're going to move it just a little bit. The sun is millions of miles away, so it's not going to move all that much. But we're going to make it move a little bit more exaggerated just for the sake of a cartoon. I'm going to transform it, make it just a hair bigger. Maybe just a little bit smaller. Yeah, that works. Now, actually, I want to change the color of it. So I'm going to say, let's make it a little bit lighter. Just a little bit lighter. Now, it won't change that color in a motion tween. It will, on the other hand, because we're changing the shape of it technically by changing the color. So go back to the first frame on the sun layer and go up to the, your properties palette. And if you don't have this open, it's window, properties, Properties. Go under Tween and select Shape. Now you'll notice you have this green uh, box now. And if you do it, if you move it, you'll notice that's actually moving already. We are already got our first animation. Congratulations. All right, so now you can see in context. Okay, so now we got this guy moving. But our other guys are not moving there because we're still 
only on one frame. So let's go to the clouds. We're going to unlock the clouds, go to frame 24. Actually, let's do this. Let's click on the actual frame and make it where it's starting over the right. So I'm using my arrows to shift it over to the right. Now, if you want to move it a little bit faster, you can hold shift arrows and it moves even, even more. All right, now we got that spot. We're going to go to frame 24. We're going to go insert timeline keyframe. And now we're going to move it just a little bit. That's fine. Now, since that's a, uh, an object, and we're just moving the object from one spot to the other without altering it at all. Now we're going to use the motion uh, tween. So click on the first one, the first layer, come down to tween, and select motion. It shows you now it has a blue box. That means that you've done a motion tween. So check that out. Yeah, pretty cool. We got a little animation going. All right. I have already, I just now noticed that I haven't done my glare, but you know what, don't worry about that because you're still getting the idea. It's the same thing as, um, as the motion guide. All right, so now here's where it gets a little tricky. I'm going to lock my clouds layer and unlock my dude layer. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit of onion skin. How you do that is you just, here's your onion skin option. We're going to click on the first one and we're going to get a few frames. The, the reason why we have this little area here is it shows you that many frames in between. So if you want to see what you've done in the past or you want in the future or all of it, you just highlight this here in the area and just kind of drag it as far as you want to see each frame. All right, it's going to make more sense right now. All right, so I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to select black. And I'm going to start drawing this guy again. Now I'm going to come here. And instead of saying insert timeline keyframe, I'm going to go insert timeline blank keyframe. Now you notice when I come over here, not even putting the keyframe there, it lightened him up. If you go on the actual keyframe, he's totally there. If you come here, he's lightened out. And that way you know that that's the ghost of what you already did. Now it's time to make the new one. All right, so let's see. We should be able to go. So we're going to hit insert, timeline, blank keyframe. Now we got a little keyframe. Now we can start drawing. So now he was standing there like, yeah, what's going on? And now we're going to have him lean forward a little bit. And he's going to start climbing the hill. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, we're... We're, we're not there yet, so that's fine to just, just get a little stick figure animation. And now he's going to start climbing up the hill. Okay? You're going to do this for 24 frames. I'm not going to do that all and torture you right now because uh, I've already shown you on, the, uh, on this um, file that you did it. So that's all you have to do is insert timeline, blank keyframe, keep going. And now he's going to walk even further. He's getting a little bit more ahead of himself. He's going to run. Now he's really starting to truck it up there. Okay. So on and on and on. Now if you move these, it'll only show you just a certain, a certain amount. And if you come and bring this in this way, it won't show you except for that one little layer. But, I, you know, most animators want to go, okay, what did I do on the first frame? Or what did I do the past couple frames? I want to be able to do that to use that as a reference point of what positioning the person's going to be in now. So now if I got out of Onion Skin, if I click here, you notice he's, he's like, okay, I'm going to start running. Okay? So that's, that's how I did it. That's the three different ways of animating. And here is the shape, motion, and step-by-step -step Onion Skin. And just to see the result once more, you can come here and you can just do... This is called scrubbing. If I take the playhead, so this is the, the same thing that we did, but I've excluded the sky gradient, but I have included the actual little sun glare. Okay, and if you wanted to see this actually exported and keep kind of animating, you can hit command return or control return on the PC and it'll or export like a little flash movie and it'll just keep animating over and over again. Just so you can say, hey, that looks pretty neat. Or to use it as a reference and go, you know what, I need to change something. So there you go. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on animating or you want a little bit more detail, leave a comment below and I'll get right back to you. Hope this helps. Have a wonderful day.